CataractCoach.com, two-handed capsule technique for intumescent cataracts. Guest surgeons, Dr. Ravi Gohl from New Jersey, USA. Check out his website, ProtectingSite.com. So intumescent white cataract in a young patient prior to vitrectomy. Left hand is stabilizing the eye. You can also use a viscoelastic cannula in that left hand to keep the AC pressurized. Right hand now has a cystotome. Notice that there are just two paracentesis incisions. There's no main incision. And that's important because we have to keep the pressure in the anterior chamber high. It has to be higher than the intralenticular pressure. And that's going to prevent egress of that intumescent fluid from the lens capsule. And by stabilizing this with that high pressure in front in the AC, that's going to help prevent the Argentinian flag sign. So that's why it's just two pairs and TCs, and that's why it's highly pressurized. And again, in that left hand, you can also use a viscoelastic can to stabilize things. Now here are the micro 25 or 23 gauge forceps. These are tiny little forceps that can go in that pairs and TCs and grab the capsule, just like you're seeing here, and continue the capsule access. Now this is a young patient. Look how elastic the capsule is. Using Tripan Blue does help to limit elasticity, but even then, look how he's pulling inward to create the rexus, and it's just done. That's a beautiful rexus. This is a very tough technique because of the intumescent cataract, but also because the patient's so young. And Dr. Gold did a beautiful job there. Now making the main incision. You can see that rexus looks fantastic. When the main incision's made, you're going to now start to get egress of that intumescent fluid because now we're going to lower the pressure in the anterior chamber there. You see the fluid egressing. Putting the phaco probe in the eye, this is all just vacuum. There's really no lens density here. There's no nuclear sclerotic changes. Just simple vacuum. And look, just in a matter of seconds, the entire lens is quickly vacuumed out of the eye. Notice the left hand not only stabilizing the eye, but protecting the capsule. That's a nice technique. So the lens is all cleaned out. There's, in fact, very little cortex even. Also, look at the capsule rexes. It came down a little bit. That's typical in these very elastic eyes. Three-piece eye wall is going to go here. Going to put it right inside the capsule bag. But watch carefully. The lens looks pretty good. Leading haptics in the good orientation. Pulling the injector out. There's a kink in the trailing haptic. So Dr. Gold is going to be very smart here. He's going to rotate that a little bit, but he's going to straighten out that kink. And that's an important step. If you see that damage there, don't just put it in the eye and leave it damaged. These are haptics that do have an ability to be straightened out again. So get back to the normal curvature. All you need are a couple of forceps. Two tying forceps works great. And so here, even just using the one with his finger and grabbing that and we're going to straighten it out until it's a more appropriate form. So if you put in the one, here's two tires now and straightening it. If you put in the one haptic with it being bent like that, you may have a misposition of the eye well. It may sunset. It may be tilted. That looks much better. And so now the lens can be dialed in very appropriately, and the whole thing goes in the caps or bag. And this patient's going to have a really nice outcome. So interesting case here. I do like the two-handed technique. As you know, as a surgeon, we want to learn all the possible techniques, and then we can tailor it to the specific eye in question. Here's the eye probe. Let's remove all the viscoelastic and clean out the eye, and then time to seal up the incisions. So this is a beautiful case. The patient had a good outcome. L vision here in this case still limited by the retinal pathology, but certainly the anterior segment looks great. The cataract surgery went beautifully, and this is a nice job. Thank you, Dr. Gold, for a beautiful submission to our website. If you would like to submit your video, we highly encourage it. Please go to cataractcoach.com and click on that link. You can submit your video. It can be anonymous or we can give you credit. Also, sign up for our free email. I know you like the videos on YouTube, which are great, but actually there's a lot more material on cataractcoach.com and it's all searchable. Thanks for watching.